Hey there, Scott here with Saws on Skates. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Craig Pocket Hole Jig 320. Thank you to my friends at Craig Tool for sponsoring this video. Let's take a look at what's inside the kit. There's an instruction manual, a jig that has two drill guides, a spacer, and thickness stops, a drill bit and stop collar, a material thickness gauge that's also a hex wrench, a six inch driver, an adjustable clamp pad, and some sample pocket screws. To get started, we'll use the thickness gauge to determine the thickness of our material. Next, we'll slide the stop collar on the drill bit to match the thickness on the gauge. Then we'll tighten the screw with the hex wrench. Next, we'll set the thickness stops. Just press the gray tabs and push the stops to match the thickness of our material. Now we can add the clamp pad. Then we'll place the jig so the thickness stops touch the edge of the wood. And we'll clamp the jig in place. Be sure the chip ejection holes are not covered by the clamp. We'll insert the bit in the drill guide and then drill the pocket holes. Now we can join the pieces. I like to use my cordless drill to drive pocket screws because it has a clutch. We only need to tighten pocket screws until they're just snug. Setting the clutch helps to prevent over tightening the screws. The unique thing about the pocket hole jig 320 is the drill guides push, twist, and pull apart. This means we can change the configuration to drill pocket holes on a piece that's one and a half inches wide like a one by two. Or we can use just one drill guide to drill pocket holes on long edges like plywood. The thickness stop can be removed so we can use the jig in tight spaces to make repairs. Repairs like a table that has a wobbly leg. The jig also has two grooves on either side so it can be used to make repairs without being clamped. That's it. That's all there is to the simple to use Craig Pocket Hole Jig 320.